Voice Your Choice. My name is Marcia, and if you are like me, growing up, when you always thought of somewhere you could go that was safe, you had activities you could do, you could see your friends from the neighborhood, you think of the YMCA, right? Because exactly. I know I do. The Y was something that was very imperative to me um, growing up as a young child because my mom took my brothers and I to the Y to learn how to swim. And I know a lot of us out there, we try our best not to get in a pool. But that's something that every young person needs to experience and enjoy. And the Y is somewhere that facilitates um, that to be a possibility, going swimming, having fun. Uh, so today on our program, we are gonna be joined by a representative from the YMCA of Greater Cleveland. And uh, when we come back, we'll talk with her and get you all the useful information you can stand <laughs> about the YMCA. So join us when we return. If you look at people and all you see are labels, Everyone loses. Labels for all of us and they're wrong. Every one of us is unique, a one-of-a-kind original. Every one of us is a one-of-a-kind original. Every one of us is a one-of-a-kind original. Our diversity is our strength. Instead of stereotyping, we can all learn from each other. Don't let prejudice shape your view. Take the time to get to know people and see for yourself who they really are. We are all one, one of a kind. Stereotyping is wrong and it hurts all of us. Stop stereotyping. A message from your American Muslim neighbors. When my mom gets drunk, she starts yelling about everything she thinks is wrong with me. It's terrible. At Al-Anon Family Groups, I found the help I needed. If someone's drinking bothers you, call 1-888-4-ALANON or visit alanonfamilygroups.org. Some rules are not meant to be broken. They are golden. Killing a person unjustly is like killing all humanity. Be humankind. A message from your Muslim neighbors. Fluoride is often called nature's natural cavity fighter and plays an important role in your oral health. Fluoride helps strengthen teeth and prevent tooth decay, which is a leading cause of cavities. Because of the important benefits of fluoride, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention called community water fluoridation one of the 10 great public health achievements of the 20th century. And since the 1950s, fluoride has been added to many community water supplies. If you prefer to drink bottled water, look for water containing fluoride. If you live in a community without water fluoridation, your dentist may recommend dietary fluoride supplements or professionally applied topical treatments. Fluoride helps reduce the risk of tooth decay and helps to keep your smile healthy and beautiful. For the ADA Dental Minute, I'm Dr. Maria Lopez Howell. Welcome back to the program, Your Voice, Your Choice. I'm Marcia, and we are joined by Carla Turner. She's a representative from the YMCA. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm uh, great. Fabulous. I'm so glad to have you here. It's good to be here. Thank you. So you work with the YMCA. I do. And what is your role there at the Y? At the YMCA of uh, downtown Cleveland, I am the membership director. I go to churches. Uh, I'm invited to uh, health fairs, local health fairs. Uh, Fortune 500 companies um, at a UH Hospital Cleveland Clinic and uh, basically I talk about the YMCA and all the many things that we do. So what are some of the benefits and services that the Y provides? Well first of all I wanted to talk about uh, one of the main things that we provide and uh, a lot of people do not know that we are the largest child care provider in Northeast Ohio. Okay. We have uh, over 28 child care uh, sites from Geauga, extending all the way over to Avon. So in, this is between. the Greater Cleveland area, it's Northeast Ohio? Yes. Okay. Greater Cleveland. I did not know that. Yeah. The, the, the largest provider of child care. Yeah, child care, Northeast okay. Ohio. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And um, we are highly rated. Um, and we also provide uh, scholarships. 
scholarships. Now, I, I suppose that's for some of the fees that's associated with being a member of the Y or? Fees that are associated with the cost of child care mm -hmm. uh, membership. Uh, we also scholarship uh, swimming lessons. We mm -hmm. scholarship sporting programs with kids. That's a lot of stuff. Yes. That's a lot of activity because we all know that's what the Y is all about. <laughs> right. Activity, fun. Uh, learning, because yes. like I said, the swimming lessons are very, very important. Yes. So, uh, what are some of the feedback that you get from the, the, the young kids that come through the doors there at the Y in regards to how it's affecting them? You know what I can say, we're changing lives. At the downtown branch, we have a uh, teen center. We have tutoring services. Tutoring. Yes, we have tutoring services. We also have the Living and Female Empowerment Group, uh, and with this program, it's a empowerment for young girls. Because we know our young ladies need that. They mm -hmm. need a, a situation where women can go and learn that they are worthy right. of whatever it is that they're trying to achieve. They have such low self-esteem as, as young women. Um, so living in female empowerment, we actually go out into the schools. Oh, okay. Gettings, uh, I'll just mention a few. Gettings, Patrick Henry, uh, Marion Sterling. Okay. Those are just a few of the schools that we uh, go into. Um, to talk about living in female empowerment. This is a very powerful, impactful uh, group. Um, who runs it? Who are the, are there volunteers or teachers? Who, who's helping with the young women as far as the? Well, we have, we have volunteers, but we also have a wonderful young lady named Brittany. Brittany. Brittany, okay. yes. Brittany, Brittany uh, is wonderful. She, she's uh, very dedicated. So is she a student or is she an adult? That's she's an adult. Back. Okay, she's hi adult. Brittany. Thank you for all of your work. We appreciate it. Yes, we do. <laughs> We do appreciate it. We also do uh, youth and government. Uh, youth and government is another extension of the YMCA, and uh, this is actually a national program that we offer. Uh, mm -hmm. Just recently, we sent a group of teens down to Columbus. Oh wow! Yes, a trip. Yes, it was a okay. trip. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. And uh, the youth and government, they actually pass legislation, assist. They help in uh, passing legislation. Okay. So um, they did very well. So when we come back, we're going to talk more about that, but also we're going to be bringing on another guest, Mr. Malik Moore. Tell me about Malik. Who is he? How, how are you guys, uh, your working relationship? Oh, it's great. Malik is my, uh, he's our executive director. Oh, he's the executive director. The downtown YMCA. So you guys work together facilitating these services that you provide? Yes. Okay, so when we return, we will be joined by Mr. Malik Moore and a Moore with Carla and me, Marcia. See you back here after the break. Hello, I'm Tom Selleck. In every generation, men and women have come forward to fight for freedom and defend our liberty. Over 58,000 of them are named on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Join me in supporting a new campaign to build an education center near the wall to tell their stories and teach about the values of those who have served in the past and who serve today. Learn how you can help. Thank you. I'm a big believer in the power of we. It's time for you to raise your hand. Go to serve.gov and get involved in something you believe in. We weren't born to follow. Are you with me? Children should be allowed to lie to their parents. Children should be allowed to pick their own outfits. And get caught. To spell later however they want. TPing other people's houses. Numbers, letters, however they want. Ding door ditching. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Children should be allowed to play jazz trumpets. To work in carnivals. And eat whatever they want. Pee in a public pool. Unless they're already fat. Kids should be allowed to do a lot of things. Over 2,000 children a day in Africa die of malaria. A simple $10 mosquito net can save a child. From mosquitoes, but not tigers. Text NET to 85944 and make a $10 donation to Malaria No More today. Messaging and data rates may apply. Let's make malaria no more. Visit malarianomore.org to learn more. Do not go to malarianomore.com. It's disgusting. You're watching Your Voice, Your Choice. I'm Marcia, and we are joined with Malik and Carla from the YMCA of Greater Cleveland. And we were just discussing youth and government, and I was hoping that you could elaborate a little bit more about the program. 
Well, youth in government, it gives the young people that come to the Y an opportunity to develop a voice. So through all of our programs, we look for ways to empower youth, and uh, a voice is an important way to do that. So um, we take the youth to Columbus, they take over the state house, literally, and they try to pass a piece of legislation. Um, things that have happened, actually, um, that have come about from the voice of these young people has been the uh, white line on the side of the road, right turn on red, the photograph on the driver's license. So youth have found that if they live in communities that might need help or need attention, that through the Youth and Government Program, they, they can magnify what it is they want to say. That's an outstanding program, because yes. I'm sure you're also giving the youth an opportunity to learn more about how our society works. Exactly. Is that something that you, uh, when you're doing this program, you have to kind of go in and kind of go over the basics with them just so they can be educated about what, what the whole point is? They, they may not realize it when they come in. For them, it might be like you said, oh, a trip. And they might have the, the, the idea of, I'm just going to go to the Y and get this free trip to Columbus. But in the process, what we're giving them is the social skills they'll need to navigate their way through high school and get into a good college, um, the academic skills they'll need to graduate with a good GPA, and then we give them the financial know-how to go, to go to college. We've partnered with uh, the College Goal Sunday program, and we do a lot of things just to get these people. Many are first-generation uh, high school graduates. Some are first-generation college graduates. And we're giving them the tools that they'll need to be able to navigate that, that tricky field of college right. admittance. So what are, do you know what the qualifications are? Like, they have to fill out an application? Like, how does it work in regards to the scholarship money or being able to do this for free? So all of the programs that operate out of the community youth services cost zero. Uh, they're funded by local businesses, private investors, um, grants that we write. Um, and all they have to do is fill out a scholarship. We go to many of the CMSD schools and we meet with the guidance counselors. Carla knows a lot of people in the community and she shares the information, churches, uh, places of worship, and we let them know that these programs are here free of charge for the kids of, Clum of, of Cleveland and the suburbs. So not just the Cleveland, greater Cleveland, the greater, greater Cleveland area, yes. So when you're going out to these businesses and you're discussing with them the why, because everyone knows what the why is, but I'm sure a lot of these businesses don't know about the grants that's provided. What are some of the things that you're saying to them to get them excited about, you know, participating or contributing to the youth? I am definitely mentioning the fact that we, we are not just a gym and swim. Not just a gym that and is, swim. That is, uh, mm -hmm. first of all, we just changed our, our logo. We have, a new, we have new branding. What is it? It is uh, youth development. Oh, okay. <laughs> Youth development, Youth okay. development, healthy living, healthy living, and socially, socially responsible. responsible. Yes, that that's good yes. stuff because that's something that I feel like you're gonna carry us into the right. the new age because right. we need that healthy who everybody, everybody healthy. Yes. go green, yes. make sure you eat mm -hmm. organic. Yes. So we do need to be <laughs> right. kind of uh, educated about what's going on. And as you on. talk about the businesses and what we might do to motivate them to give or be a part of this. I mean, you really have to get at what everybody's motivated by. Businesses that are building their foundation in Cleveland need people to work. They need people to fill the jobs, so we're going to help to get them educated so that they can keep these local jobs here and people can graduate from Cleveland schools and, and serve their communities. And I'm sure being affiliated with the YMCA does not hurt at all because oh, it's not. just, it's, <laughs> it's kind of iconic almost yes. oh, because wow. it's just been That's around for so long. Who doesn't know about the Y? 157 years we've been serving this community. Years. Wow. The YMCA of Greater Cleveland was one of the first YMCAs in the nation to actually be integrated. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's outstanding. A lot of people don't realize that the uh, NBA sport of basketball was invented at the YMCA. The NBA? Well, no, basketball. Basketball, basketball. is a sport. Oh, William really? Naismith's yes. sport, was, sport was invented at the YMCA. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Several sports have been invented at the YMCA. What's another sport? Uh, volleyball. volleyball was invented so at the YMCA. So this is a test turn into a did you know session. <laughs> <laughs> because we're talking about volleyball and basketball. Started at the Y? And we haven't even touched the surface. Oh, you hear that? So when we come back, we're going to touch the surface. <laughs> so we'll see you back here after break. Hello, I'm General Colin Powell. The Vietnam Wall is one of the most visited memorials in Washington. There is magic in that wall with its 58,000 names. We want to make sure those names never become anonymous to future generations. The new education center at the wall will keep the memories alive and pay tribute 
to all generations of GIs who answered the call to serve. Help us make this beautiful center a reality. Thank you. In the mountains of Central Africa, a gorilla will spend days searching for food and fresh water. Sadly, hundreds of people from local villages are doing the same thing. The Dine Fossey Gorilla Fund International is dedicated to saving gorillas and helping people by implementing education and health programs, by providing solutions for clean water and proper nutrition, by offering access to better sanitation. Improving the lives of people in Central Africa can help save gorillas and preserve an entire ecosystem. We've made progress, but there's more work to do, so we're asking for your help. The lives of human beings and gorillas are undeniably linked. We share 98% of our DNA. Certainly, we can find better ways to share this planet that we call home. Join the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund International and help save a species. Go to gorillafund.org. Welcome back to Your Voice, Your Choice. We are on location at the Way of Life Church, and uh, I want to thank Jeff Jackson. Uh, he's the pastor here for allowing us to use his beautiful facilities, and we are back here with Malik and Carla, and we're going to discuss more about the services that you provide for families uh, in the community. Well, like Carla shared with you earlier, the YMCA wants folks to remember that, number one, our programs are open for all. So that's for men, women, young, old, um, and, and as she shared, we're for youth development, we're socially responsible, and we're also about healthy living. So everything we, we build, every program we make, every class we offer, um, we have things available for senior citizens, for youth. Um, that's from swim lessons to water aerobics to line dance classing, mm. line uh -oh. dance classes. Wait a second. Yes, ma'am. Pause. Okay. Line dancing classes. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who pay money. Yes. <laughs> to go and do the line dancing. So is there a fee associated with it? it? There, there is a small fee for line dance classes mm -hmm. because, like you said, they are popular. But what we found is that they're very popular with those who, uh, who just want to make a commitment to not being around the nightclub atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So they want to so be active. They want to have fun but they want to do it in a wholesome way. So is this part of the social responsible yes, aspect? Because I was going to ask you, what does that mean? Are you mm -hmm. just basically saying that it is your one of your uh, goals to provide an environment that's healthy and safe that, in a social atmosphere? In the city of Cleveland, we have uh, developed what's YMCA program is called Y Haven. Y um, it's a reentry program for men. Um, and, and that's one of our socially responsible Is this a new things. program? I've it, it, never it's, heard about it. It's not new. It's a partnership with Housing and Urban Development. Okay. Um, we use the CMHA uh, facility. So this is a, a chemical treatment program. So those that might have had alcohol or drug dependence go through this process. Um, and now we have just men in general coming out of uh, uh, incarceration in that halfway, halfway house situation. They go through that um, and they come to a Y facility and get the supervision, get the support get the motivation to stay How on the clean living. How do you reach living. these men? How do you find them? Is this something they come to your site and find you, or is it a part of their release or something? It, it, it's usually part of their release. And it, oh. it, it's it, we work very closely with the mental health uh, professionals and um, reentry professionals in that process, as well as the housing experts at CMHA, who we've partnered with. Um, and we're servicing about 1,300 residents at CMHA's Lakeview Terrace Estates mm. as part of a YMCA collaboration. Oh, wow. So that, that's, that's another thing we're doing. Outstanding partnerships. Yes, Definitely needed. And you know, I, I've heard everything that you guys said, but why do you think in your own view that these are needed, these um, services that you provide, why are they needed in our community? We are living in tough economic times. Mm -hmm. I have people that come into my office, and this is why I mentioned scholarships earlier. Mm -hmm. We don't turn anyone away. My office is in the lobby. 
they hit my office before they hit Malik's office. So literally, people are walking into my office. I've had families come in from the homeless shelter, which is one block away from my branch. And uh, I let them know from the beginning that I can give you a scholarship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm sure they take advantage of it. Are you they seeing a increase in the, the uh, need? Yes. About yes. a 17 percent yes. increase this year yes. in the amount of scholarships we're granting. Mm -hmm. um, people are in need. And, and yes. I mean, I, I can't say it any other way. People right. are in need. And about a quarter of our memberships is scholarship. Right. And that's why these programs are really necessary because with people losing their jobs, not being able to find employment, some people losing their homes. These children really need somewhere to go yes. to release, have fun, forget about the problems that not necessarily uh, their parents mean to drop in their lap, but they feel it. They know what's going on. So I'm sure coming to your facility, the YMCA, is a place where they can forget about everything and just uh, put their energy into something Constructive, uh, constructive and positive and positive and it helps them to develop and learn so that when they become adults right, right. they can put all of this useful information to, to work let, let me share a story with you there, there was a gentleman who died recently um, and he, he grew up in the YMCA he told his wife all through their marriage I am who I am because of the YMCA mm -hmm. this gentleman has left money a, 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 basically a scholarship for youth to come and use these programs that he sees as character driven and life changing. So as, as much as we say people come in and they need, we're also a facility for those who want to give back. The YMCA is a great place to do that. And one thing that you just mentioned in the story you just told is character. Character. And we need to be able to develop and build character because that's something that is going to help you in your social skills. Um, when you, you're getting employed, yes. you need character. So you got to know that you're trustworthy, you can, you're dependable, and that has a lot to do with your character. Yes, ma'am. So I'm, 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 I'm blown away because I did not even know all of these things were available. I thought, like, what you say? Swim gym and, and swim. Gym That's and what swim. people think. They gym think the YMCA right. is gym and yes. swim. Right. But we're more than that. And, and, and we really take that call to social responsibility very seriously. Carla is passionate about the work she does and the people she connects with, and um, I, I, I'm, I'm just indebted to this community in Cleveland and want to see more people using the services we offer, knowing about the services we offer, and, and have youth that are there today coming back in 10 years and doing what our benefactors have done to allow for these And paying it forward, like the gentleman you paying mentioned. Paying it forward, Paying yes, it forward because at, at some point we, we all... Unfortunately, gonna not be here. But you know, we can pay it for it in financial and volunteer. Are you getting a lot of um, response from people who want to volunteer and be a part of, of the organization? I'm so grateful for the people yes. who call or send in applications or go online mm -hmm. to the YMCA of Greater Cleveland's website and um, fill out applications and then show up for events like our Holiday Angels event where we gave Christmas to about what 700 kids. Wow. Um, and so when you're distributing, they help with, with giving out the gifts yes, and maybe writing the Do you have, like, I, sometimes they have the trees. We have a tree, and okay, Santa's tree. there. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and, and then in the fall, when we go back to school, the number of volunteers who give school supplies to the kids to go back to, to the schools and um, to physically be there to hand the, the school supplies out. And to see the looks on the kids' faces when they get this hand up, mm -hmm. not a hand out. When we return, we will talk more with Malik and Carla after the break. Hey you, yeah you, sit right there, I gotta tell you something. I bet you know someone with type 2 diabetes. Guaranteed, you know why? Because one out of every three little kids is gonna develop diabetes in their lifetime. That is gonna lead to heart problems, strokes, and even blindness. I'm John Sally, and I'm telling you, it ain't gotta be that way. Now you can up your defenses by eating more fruits and vegetables, having more vegetarian and vegan meals. These steps can be the power plays to protect you and your family against the risk of diabetes. To learn more, go to blockdiabetes.org. We are back with Your Voice, Your Choice, and I'm joined with Malik and also Carla. And I know you guys have a, a few locations that's uh, opening up, but um, I wanted you to talk about the healthy foods or potentially programs that you might be offering regarding healthy, healthy eating. Carla's the chef. <laughs> I'm not a chef, but I, I tell you what I have a passion for is, is uh, I, I, I have a passion for fighting uh, childhood obesity. Which is one of the things that is on our agenda at the YMCA, our, our city agenda. Childhood obesity, as we all know, is a problem. So uh, just recently, I, I was given the opportunity to teach cooking classes for kids uh, in the uh, CMHA oh. facility. 
um, we have a, a beautiful little kitchen downstairs in the, in the basement of the facility. And I actually taught a few classes. Uh, and it, I was, it was a, a very great reception. I so mean, what do you consider to be healthy eating? Healthy food. What, what, what are we talking about? Vegetables? Can I tell you what I saw the kids eating when I went to her <laughs> class? Definitely. I saw them eating different vegetables, yes. raw, yes. peppers, mm -hmm. grape tomatoes, yeah. cherry tomatoes. Yeah. I saw them making pizzas with spinach on it. Yes. And th this is after, in the beginning of the class, they were not going to eat a vegetable. Mm -hmm. So. No, right. The, it was, it's amazing. These kids, have, they did not have a problem eating fruit. I brought in a uh, bins of strawberries and grapes so they can make fruit sticks mm. and cantaloupe. So you made it fun and, and convenient. Fun a and lot convenient, of times yes. people don't like to have to chop it up and prepare it. Well, you know ready. what? This this is a very hands-on class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Each kid, I didn't really do anything. I, I was just the instructor. Each kid had their own uh, cutting board, their own knife. Kid safe knives. You had. Kid safe yeah. yes, plastic. <laughs> um, able to slice a dice. tomato, dice, everything that they need. And I just gave each young And they person. were happy to do it. They were happy. <laughs> happy to consume it. Very happy. That's happy great. to consume salad. Happy to eat fruit. So tell me more about this Run the City campaign. What is that? We Run the City. I can't praise her enough. Tara Taylor is an amazing Pied Piper of young fitness enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. She has gone from school to school, encouraged the uh, principals to be involved. We have principals, vice principals, staff. And they take these youth, and many of them do the marathon. Well, let me say some do the marathon. Many do a 10K. And it must be the largest wow. in the nation, um, national news coverage. But better yet, the, the health results, the longitudinal studies have shown people who were at risk of having high blood pressure, it, it goes down. And so she, Carla mentioned childhood obesity, blood pressure. Tara Taylor, and we run the city, is doing phenomenal wonders for the youth in Cleveland and getting them active. So Tara? Tara Taylor. She's another one of your soldiers out there that's making it happen yes, she is. for the Y, and we really appreciate you. I always love to shout out people yes, who are shout helping her our out. kids because if she wasn't doing it, it may not be done. It might not be done. So thank you again, Tara. <laughs> so is there anything else that you guys want to say, contact information, well, how people can reach the Y? Our website is a great resource. Uh, a, a, a lot of information there, YMCA, what is it, the clevelandymca.org, I'm sorry. So if you go to clevelandymca.org, you'll be able to get a lot of your questions answered. It'll give you locations in your area. It'll tell you about the two new locations coming up, North Royalton and Warrensville Heights, um, and many of the programs we're doing in communities that may not be run out of a YMCA facility, you can find there. Right, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for joining me today. It was Thank an you. absolute pleasure learning for all these yes. uh, new services and programs is you know just besides gym and swim we have all these youth government healthy eating services for the family i mean y'all doing it thank you we're trying to do our thank part you. thank you <laughs> and i want you guys to join us back here um next time and like i said we're on location we are at the way of life gospel church and i want to thank Jeff Jackson. He is the pastor here and he really hooked us up. Thank you so much. And um, I want to thank you guys, the viewers, for being here and watching us and getting the opportunity to learn about some, some great products. So I'll see you here next time on Your Voice, Your Choice. Bye.